Good evening and welcome. I am yours truly, TR Nayeri X. Representing for TR News and Reviews, I will not wait for the introduction to roll before I extend condolences to the bereaved family of Clark Middleton. Now, I want to start this evening by saying, for those who knows me, I do not have a lot of favorites. I am an easy, simple, technical, very technical person. So I am easy, simple, humble, but yet at the same time, I am very technical. So because of how technical I am, or because of how easy I am, I do not have, I do not have favorites. I barely have a favorite meal. I barely have a favorite child. I barely have a favorite color. I barely have a favorite favorite car. Um, I know for sure that um, that my favorite gift is life. That is for sure. That is one thing for sure that I am that I know is my favorite. But years ago, I had a favorite series. I am not a lover of series. I really do not like series. But I fell in love with a series called Dexter years ago. And I think um, there's a lot of things or a lot of aspects or a lot of views or, or rather perspectives of same show that I can relate to, that I understand, that I believe in. I believe in the psychological elements and the um, um, the whole the whole perspective of that series and it was my only series that I've watched many times over a number of years but suddenly I fell in love with the second se second series which was the blacklist and I was glued to it I watched it till when I go to my bed at night uh, all I could see is different scenes from the blacklist I would spend like 12 hours to 14 to 16 hours per day watching because I was backlogged. So I was catching up with the with the um, the different episodes to catch up with it. And of course, within one week, in one week, I watched um, seven seven um, what do you call it again? Seven. I watch all the series. I watch all seven series that had at least 21 episodes. Now in these episodes, season, that's what and that's the word I was looking for. I watched seven seasons with um with Ayan. <laughs> the Miss Yo Yo show is now a Filipino, Ayan. <laughs> trip produce just as well anyway guys do not interrupt my broadcast as I was saying that um, this guy this this whole series became my best um, became well hand in hand with um, Dexter they uh, I would say my second best um, but I was glued to this for one week and I watched every every episode in, in all the seasons and now I'm waiting for the eighth episode in in November the 13th of November will um, come coming out will be the third the eighth episode I mean the eighth season now what I want to say right now on my screen is Clark Middleton and I want to I want to say for, I mentioned it earlier that condolences I want to say to the family and the friends and when I say family I'm not talking about just his his entire household including his wife and um, whomever is there with him I'm talking about the blacklist family and the rest of movies that he was a part of and all those friends and family condolences to, to you all now after watching Blacklist, um, Clark became 
my favorite. No, I wouldn't say my favorite actor. The, my favorite scenes from the series was always one of the scenes or the many scenes that Clark was a part of. And tonight I want to share with us some of the laughters that I would have had by myself watching these. I want to share them with you and I want to see if you have um, the, the same thoughts or at least similar thoughts. All right, but before we do that, let us find out who Clark was before he died. Um, the Blacklist and Twin Peaks actor Clark Middleton dies at 63 after contracting West Nile virus. So that was what uh, killed him, the West Nile virus. Clark Middleton, who appeared on The Blacklist Showtime's Twin Perks um, revival, has died. He was 63. The actor died in his Los Angeles home on Sunday as a result of the West Nile virus, according to his wife, Elisa. With heavy hearts, we announce the passing of a life eminently worthy of celebration. Clark Tinsley Middleton, 63, beloved actor, writer, director, teacher, hero, husband, um, beacon, friend. She was in a statement provided to the people. Clark transitioned on October 4th as a result of West Nile virus. For which there is no known cure, Clark was, Clark was a beautiful soul, sorry, who spent a lifetime defying limits and advocating for people with disabilities. West Nile virus is a mosquito-borne disease with no vaccine or treatment. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, most people infected with West Nile virus do not feel sick through one in five, sorry, though one in five people who contract the disease develop symptoms, about one in 150 people, sorry, about one in 150 people develop a serious, sometimes fatal illness. A gifted character actor, Middleton, had reoccurring roles on Law and Order, Twins, Twin Peaks, the Path and the Blacklist, on which he played BMV employee Glenn, sorry, Glenn Carter in 13 episodes. And on the screen right now is our dearest um, Glenn. May his soul rest in peace. I really enjoy this brother. He is really, he is really a force to reckon with. And, um, I really enjoy his parts that he played. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to other areas that we want to take a look at quickly. I am heartbroken besides being a truly unique and gifted actor. Clark was simply an incredible guy in every way. He was a whip smart film nut. He loved his work with a passion and he was insanely generous of spirit. The Blacklist uh, creator John uh, Boken Camp said in a statement, I was fortunate enough to work with Clark over the past several years and the relationship developed into a wonderful friendship that I'll always cherish. I know his entire family and the Blacklist uh, devastated by this news. Clark was one of the good ones. We lost him way too soon. And I, I second that notion um, he was definitely one of the good ones, one of the ones that we look forward to seeing in the different episodes. Milton, other television credits include Fringe, Gotham, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and American Gods. On, on film, Middleton appeared in notable titles such as Serendipity, Kill Bill, uh, Volume 2, Sin City, Snowpiercer, and Birdman, or unexpected virtue of ignorance. I am shocked to learn Clark's sudden passing. An actor, an actor, an actor sorry, excuse me, an actor who, who I worked with on Snowpiercer, who over 
Many films gave such exceptional and unique performances. Director Bong, jo Bong Joon Ho uh, said in a statement provided to people. All right, I'll just stop there. Uh, the news is there for you all to see for yourself. You can go Google it and read the different parts so I can stop tripping on this broadcast. All right, we are just about 11 minutes into this live presentation, and I want to say thank you all for coming. Um, what I want to do for us right now is I want to play a few clips um, so you can enjoy with me what I enjoy. I want to give credit to the people. I want to give credit to people right now. Um, this article I'm reading is from them. For those who don't know, um, this is. Uh, let me just read a part of his bio quickly. Personal life. Born Clark Tinsley Middleton on April 13th. Oh, he is. Okay. I guess a few talent, talented people were born in April, or a few people that I like. In 1957, in Bristol, 10, he grew up in Toxin, Ariz. Middleton learned that he had juvenile, um, oh my goodness, let me, let me try to call this word. I am not good with medical words, but this looks like, um, oh my god. Rheumatoid. Oh, rheumatoid. Rheumatoid. Yeah. yeah. Rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you, Sir Rose. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, I sometimes, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he was four years old, he summarized its effects in an in an interview. At first, it distorted my hands. Then, then the cortisone I had to take made my cheeks fat at eight. I lost movement in my cheek, sorry, I lost movement in my neck when I was 15. My hip snapped after an operation. I had to be on crutches and later after I broke my leg, falling over my dog on canes. He remained at a height of, sorry, he remained at a height of five feet, four inches, 163 centimeters. All right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, the Miss Yo-Yo Show, please stop laughing at me. This is a professional news station, and I need to stay <laughs> as serious as I can while I am in this broadcast. Anyway, we're, let us just step over to um, a few clips from the gentleman. Um, these were my favorite scenes while watching The Blacklist. So guys, sit back, get your popcorn, get your bottle of water, get your tea, your coffee, get your Pepsi, your Coke, your whatever you drink, get your sip and get ready. Let's enjoy in loving memory of Clark Middleton. Say for your shorts. So many Every times. time you can't deliver, you do this. These cockamamie stories. Get out! You trade your passion for glue. You're the most gifted tracker I know, Glenn. This is what you want. This is you get all lathered up. The oh. of the past. Ellen. Fitch! Fitch! Dyslexia pills on the counter. There are no pills for dyslexia. And he's watching us all in the These little marshmallows are gonna get moody roasted.
For the sake, for the sake of those who have never seen um, this guy, I want to play this other clip because the song, the song is so dominant in that. So only who, only who watched, only those who watched um, black the blacklist would have you know understand or or would have gotten the gist of the whole storyline. So what I'm gonna do instead of playing this uh, for you all. I'm going to try and play another one um, that you will get more of what he's saying. So let's play this one instead. Know his plan. It got sort of reroute. How? Clerical error. Someone transposed two digits on the VIN number, typed the no instead of a zero. Simple mistake. Could have happened to anyone, really. So the vehicle's not in Houston? It's in Scranton. When we talked about this, you wanted an assignment. I did, but this, I can fix this. It's a bump in the road. My guy in Tokyo did his job. That vehicle came off the line, factory built, and shipped. Approved by customs, it cleared the port. I can go to Scranton, get the truck. All you had to do was make sure it was routed to the dealership in Houston so you could buy it with the money I gave you. I'm already looking at flights. Glenn, look at me. Do you understand? That truck isn't just a truck. It's a test balloon carrying a shipment of black market tritium valued at over $12 million. If this shipment goes right, I land a contract that will pay dividends for years. If it goes south, I can't begin to tell you how badly things go for everyone involved, starting with present company. Hey, relax. I'll handle it. Oh, yes. You're going to handle it all. You're going to get on the next flight to Scranton, walk into that dealership, buy the damn truck, and get it here by Tuesday before my buyer is any the wiser. Am I clear? Truck. Two days here by Tuesday. Might I ask one question? This may seem like a reach, all things considered, but would you be comfortable with me flying business class, you know, on my back. You have two days. He's odd and annoying and clearly incapable of following instruction. I think it's safe to say that even those who know him best, perhaps especially those who know him best, probably hold him in remarkably low regard. But the lamentable characteristics that make him an outcast are the very ones that make him perfectly suited to sit on this jury. Beholden to no one, because no one likes him. Capable of making up his own mind, because he's incapable of listening to anyone else. He is an outcast. Maybe even deservedly so. But if he's able to administer blind justice in this case, I think we should give him a chance with the blindfold. What do you want me to say? I've never been picked for anything before. It went to my head. And FYI, I'm not the one that said hurtful things in there. No, what you said was catastrophically stupid. Un Pleasant personality, odd, annoying, beholden to no one because no one likes him. You cut me, man. You cut me bad. I cut you. Without an apology, I don't know where we go from here. I 
I'm sorry. Dude, I'm messing with you. Being odd and annoying is my stock and trade. So tell me, what's the contingency plan? You were, Glenn. This sucks. What a man! What a truck! Oh, sorry I'm late, fellas. Oh, few of the boys at the dealership insisted on photographs. <laughs> As I said, never doubt my man, Glenn. I have to admit, I was starting to doubt you, Glenn. Never doubt the jelly bean. The shipment. Tritium, uh, what is it anyway? Tritium is an extremely rare and radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Sounds kind of serious. It is. Honestly, oh, my feet. Uh... Glenn, the merchandise on that truck. No, really, my feet. I know you can't come here with all the boobies on the beat, but maybe Debbie could come rub them. Everyone else had someone here to cheer them on. I got nobody. Glenn, please listen this to me. This is psychological warfare. The war chief, I'm going to get you that merchandise on that truck. Okay, we're back. Got to jump. We're back. Wait, no, Glenn, hold on. You're not back. I got this. I have the tiger. You want me to call his mother? Get Glenn, this is important. Please, I, I need you to find these people as soon as human... Yeah. Yeah, put him through. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I told him to hold up. Yellow, what? What? Absolutely not. Jerry, I told you it's got to be raspberry. No, ice cream won't work, neither will sorbet. It's got to be sherbet. Because that's what she said. I don't know, Jerry. I don't work in the grocery store. Try a different aisle. Maybe try looking over by those... That was Jerry. I don't care. He's trying to make Judy's Raspberry Sherbet Party Punch, which is sort of a casino night custom. Glenn, there is no casino night. There is no DMV. Right now, all that matters is finding Orion Relocation Services. Okay, take it easy. Don't tell me to take it easy. This is important. You're a tracker. And I need you to find out everything you can about these people, right now. This is different, huh? Important. Thank you for coming, Glenn. No problemo. Hey! Right. Um, well, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I will. I will. I will make the links to this available so you can all go take a peek at it. Uh, the, the 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 blacklist people are kind of um, are kind of strict with their policies. Well, not just them. Um, YouTube. I'm not sure if I, you know what. I thought you'd want me here. I'm sort of the straw that stirs the drink. <laughs> By the way, Mom's over to punch bowl. She's always had her eye on you, if you know what I mean. Drop by, say hi, and don't forget the shrimps. <laughs> okay, here I am. Ready to serve. Ah. Okay, who's got questions? Your Honor, we've been at this for several hours now. Might we take our mid-morning break? I'm feeling a little unwell. Just 15 minutes till I get my legs back. Yeah, so um, it is sad to say that the, the brother passed. Um, there was something that I really liked about this, this fellow. And, and what I liked about him is that um, he was kind of handicapped or looked like one. Um, yes, he was, he was handicapped or a little bit, you know, you know what I mean? Um, 
but he never acted he never act like one he looked perfectly like somebody who embrace you know what he is this guy understood that he had a problem he had a situation and he did not go around complaining about that oh my face is fat my neck can't move oh i can't feel my toes oh my goodness my hip my back is hurting this guy embrace what he had and work with the flow and this guy was actually one of the better um, actors in in this whole series in this whole um, he was just he was just really good he embraced his condition I should say and that's the problem that many of us have these days you know you put on some weight or you gained a lot of weight because of your sickness and then you you want to die because when you look in the mirror and your face is like plump and you're you look like a dinosaur you know you're like ready to die because you're not comfortable with the way you with the way you appear in the mirror but it's gone again um yeah it's probably gone again because i'm looking at stream here and oh it's back it's back yeah all right so i was saying I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Why? Why? Um, I stopped playing the video ten ten miles away. I mean, ten hours ago. So I'm not sure why YouTube's still saying, you know, whatever they're saying. Uh, they want me to stop and start over again. Okay. I'm just gonna finish because we are close to the end. Um, I, I was supposed to stream for half an hour, and we're just about a minute and a half away from that time. So I will just go right ahead and finish what I was saying. I am saying many of us fail today because we fail to accept what we can't change. You can't change the fact that you have a disease that cripples half of your body. You can't change the fact that you have an ailment or you have a sickness or you have this or that that is um, that has ruined a part of your body. And because you have not accepted that you are sick and you need to find a way around your sickness, you sit and wait to die. Oh, I can't even go in the streets anymore because my face is look is like a jackfruit. I look like a crab patty. I look like a. Um, I, I don't want to go anywhere anymore. I don't want to work because um, I feel like crap. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And so most of us complain about our problems. Now, if we should stop complaining about our problems, embrace the ones that we cannot change and live around them you know be happy do things motivate yourself encourage yourself move to the next level and inspire others who might have the same condition i want to say thanks to everybody who turned out tonight uh joy in the building thank you for coming in sf rose thank you for being here the uh, miss yo yo show thank you triple deuce scratcher thank you uh who did i miss i hope i didn't miss anybody let me just check the chat quickly to see um casper to you all thank you for coming amazing Maisie. thank you for coming in as well uh, did I miss anybody? I hope I didn't miss anybody. All right. So with that said, um, I think we should have been at the end of the stream. So we're going to roll out with the intro, of course. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody who turned out tonight to make the stream a success. I am extremely happy for the turnout. Can you believe I am happy for 10 people in the chat? Yes, I am happy for 10 people in the chat. For somebody who is um, accustomed to having 300, 400, 500 people in a chat, is happy to see 10 people that's how important you are i i normally focus on what i have as opposed to what i don't have i'm like i shouldn't be crying and complaining oh my goodness only i'm gonna stop streaming because only 11 people in my stream you know i am tr you know who the hell do you think i am i am tr so i'm gonna shut my stream down guys because only 11 people is here no i am not worried about a thousand people that is not present a thousand five hundred people that is not present i am happy for the twelve hundred people that is now present in the chat thank you all for coming um before i go let me just um say for those of you who had a privilege or have a privilege or access to sharing a stream uh, please do consider sharing the stream and of course for those who could like it please do like it we accept likes as well and with that said, I think I've given a shout out to everybody that was present in the chat tonight. So we're going to roll out with the um, 
what was supposed to be an introduction is going to be the outro for tonight. I want to say thank you all for, for coming. Um, have a great night. Uh, be safe out there. Sleep well. Whatever you do, be safe and do whatever you do well. Until next time, I am TR, Nayari X, reporting for TVJ News. No, TR, News, Reviews, and Sports. <laughs>